Today's wash and go is a little bit different for me. When I do a wash and go, I usually use a three row comb. But today, I'm gonna try See how this goes. Welcome or welcome back to Aloft Aloft. Today I'm gonna to do a wash and go, as I said, that's a little bit different than my normal process. So here I'm starting off with freshly washed and detangled hair. At this point, the only product I have in my hair is a spray leave-in detangler. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get started by sectioning my hair off into four parts. I've had this brush for about four years. When I first went natural or started transitioning to natural, I bought it because one of the YouTubers, who I cannot remember at the moment, but one of the YouTubers said this is a great brush for a great brush for detangling. Not for me. It does not work for me. If you've seen my videos in the past, you know I love Tangle Teaser. This here. Not a detangler for me. So it's been sitting in my closet for maybe the last three and a half years. No. I've been natural for five years now. Yeah, September. September, it's five, we're in September now. It's five years. I've been natural now for five years. Two years transition, three years fully natural, but five years nonetheless. So, I've had this brush for almost five years. And it's been in my closet for at least three, because I don't use it at all. So I figured, why not give it a try? See how it goes for a wash and go. See what happens. Okay, I had to give you guys a little back history so you'd understand why I don't use this brush and I don't think I've ever used it for a wash and go. I believe this is my first time. But either way, let's get into the style. So my hair is already separated into four parts. So I'm just gonna start with a small section in the very back of my hair. I am only using one styler for this product. But before we start that, of course I need to saturate it with warm water. The styler that I'm gonna be using is the Aussie brand Miracle Curls Cream Pudding. I don't like to apply a lot of products that weigh my hair down. So as you can see, this cream pudding, I use a lot. The tub is almost empty. I'm gonna take the cream pudding and apply it to that section, making sure that I concentrate on my roots as well as the tips, the very ends, oldest part of my hair. Then I'm gonna take the brush and just work the product through. And now, the moment of truth. I'm gonna go through that section with the brush, but instead of going straight, I'm just gonna turn it a little bit, hoping to get a good curl at the end and actually throughout the entire section. So here are the results. They seem to be clumped together, so I'm just gonna separate them a little bit to see how it looks. I have to say I don't have as much definition as I usually would when I'm using a three row comb, but we'll just continue on and see how the rest of it looks. So I'm gonna take out another small section and just repeat the same process throughout the rest of my head. So here I noticed I have a small knot, so I'm just gonna take a pair of scissors and cut out that little section above as well as below it and continue on with the style. Here I started to notice that my roots on the previous sections were starting to puff up a bit, which is something I'm really not used to during a wash and go. So later you will see me trying to apply more product to try to smooth that part out 
as well as the future sections when I go through them. Granted, the brush that I'm using is a dupe to the Demon brush, but again, as I said before, this is my first time actually using it for a wash and go. So if you guys have ever used a Demon brush for a wash and go, let me know your tips because see here, I'm checking the ends of my hair and I'm not really a fan of the definition or lack of definition that I'm getting with this brush as well as the puffiness that I'm seeing on my roots. So if you have any tips or tricks, or if you have a preferred method that you do with a Demon brush that works for you and gives you great results, please let a sister know. So you may have noticed that I switched over to using my Tangle Teaser prior to using the Demon brush because I feel that it was starting to pull and snag and that's actually one of the reasons why I stopped using the brush in the beginning. So I'm only using it now when I'm ready to curl the section instead of actually smoothing out and detangling the section. The final piece of that section is done. Give you a side glimpse of how it's looking. I still feel it's very puffy, but I committed to this look. So I'm just gonna continue on, move on to the next section and we'll see how it goes. The front of my hair is a different texture than the back. So anytime I do a wash and go, I try to smooth down these edges with a little extra product as well as pin them down until they fully dry. So here you'll just see me using a duckbill clip or a roller clip, however you prefer to call it. 
and I do that process on both sides of my head. I don't mess with the crown. The only part I mess with at the top is once I actually do my side part and then I'll slick that part down and clip it with a bobby pin. Now again, as I said, if you guys have any tips or tricks on how I can improve this look with this dim and brush or dim and brush dupe, please let me know down in the comments, as well as if you like this style overall, let me know in the comments. And hey, don't forget to subscribe to my channel to stay up to date with me. I have to say, despite my moments of frustration and the extra puffiness that I see, overall, this didn't turn out too bad. I feel that there are some areas that could be improved, but I did have some definition, not as much as I'm used to with the wash and go, but I still had some definition. But I think it's worth giving it another try, changing up a few things, seeing how it goes. Let me know your thoughts. This is a look later in the day when my hair is about 45, 50% dry. After sitting under my hooded dryer for about 10 to 15 minutes, but this is the final look. Thanks for watching.